We are about to try dolphin. <laughs> That's what dolphins do. <laughs> do the dolphin noise, Matt. Do the dolphin noise. <laughs> now eat it. Now eat it, flesh. <laughs> 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 nah, that's hectic shit. Welcome to episode number 15 of the Marty Michael Fully Actual Podcast. We have a jam-packed episode. We got the great debate makes a return. We're gonna fucking have a red hot crack at some prank calls again. We got a dream diary. We got all sorts of shit. The boys are gonna have to taste something so unbelievable that me and James managed to find online. You're not gonna believe it. And it's gonna all be sorts edible. of other shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is edible. 100 percent it's edible. Interception competition. <laughs> Marty, you're judging. All right. You like movies, right? Yeah, some. You're going to be doing a You Shall Not Pass. I'm going to be doing a You Shall Not Pass. <laughs> and nah, Marty yeah. is going to be judging who does on, the better You Shall Not Pass. One, Marty's not a good judge of this. James would be because he's more of a Lord of the Rings fan. Okay. How many Lord of the Rings films have you seen? I've watched them all. And how many times have you watched well, them? Well, once because what's the point of watching the same thing twice? Anyway, there's no point in talking about Lord of the Rings. The King died look, 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 recently. Look, now, now at the oh, beginning yeah, of the yuck. podcast, I we're talking about hate movies. What I, did. I like, hate what I did. He look, died. Look, the actor who played him died. About the I hate movie. What I did. Look, I'm sorry. Anyway, look, let's forget about <laughs> that. All right. Now, last week, apologies. I like I barely remember fucking filming it. Like, yeah, we, we did we, a lot of. Look, last, were you last still week, under the influence? No, no, but I was just severely hungover and just depleted. But man, the last nine days have been a fucking blur. Because me and Mon, like, I just over the weekend went to. She took me to Nimbin on for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night. <laughs> um, can you explain for the overseas viewers what Nimbin is? Yeah, so it's like this super hippie love town, and it's the this event called Mardi Gras, <coughs> where it's like everyone just celebrates weed, and it's just like this little town where it's just like like the happiest friendliest people and just no one gives a shit about what you think of them it's just really nice to go i love the people of nimbin and we went there and just continued it's such a high like it's still a high from from winning the boxing thing like i think back like what the f man that is so weird yeah look we are fucking champions <laughs> <laughs> we are world champions but yeah, all I'm like, I've gone from boxing to pickleball. Yeah. All I think about is pickleball. All I want to do is pickleball. Tell them what happened on the weekend. Yeah, I played pickleball and I was a fucking star. God, I did. I'm very good at pickleball. <laughs> yeah, look, I think we're, yeah, look. Sorry. I think, see, that's what I need now is something to redirect all that energy from boxing. Now it's like all of a sudden you have so much free mental space. You don't realize how much it was playing on you. And now it's like, yeah, everything is just from boxing to drugs. Just well, yeah, for, for for a brief period, but now it's just back to work. I'm just keen to smash out some fucking vids again because we did film a lot less leading up to the fight because we're too nervous to try and be funny, and now it feels like we're free again, and it's just so nice working so hard at something and then gaining the the benefits from it. I cannot tell you the feeling, Brown. I cannot tell you the fucking feeling. It is it was unbelievable, and god damn. God damn, man. No one expected it. And fuck, man, it was Rocky V what we We're did. We're champions. We're the fucking, I've, been, I've been so arrogant to Mon oh, all the time. Oh, oh, I keep walk, walking around the house going, I'm the fucking man. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she told Amber that. And she's like, he won't stop saying it. <laughs> <laughs> and really so you should. <laughs> oh. She's been such an arrogant about it but man what a bloody rush that was i still think about it man it was fucking insane it's probably been like it's would have been weeks now for these guys because this comes out two yeah later. yeah true yeah it's only this is only like nine days after the boxing for those listening right now so now we're just kind of coming back to reality back to normal life now back to fucking filming a shitload of videos and hurting ourselves brutally and man oh man matt what have you been doing you fucking running around wholesome getting fucking people to pay their bills no nah, i've been sick you've been sick as been he's sick. had now the all ccs sick. we've all had the c and look it was a breeze. Holy <laughs> shit, it was a tickly throat and I enjoyed it more so than being actually normal. Yeah, we all got a bit sick. I think all the stress from the fight and then the release, yeah, and we all got fucking sick as shit. Such a such an annoying flu all week. But yeah, I've been peppering my immune system. I reckon I did about a, a month's worth of damage in a week just in terms of the food I was eating, no, no exercise and just being very unhealthy but snapping back into it now. Did you gain weight? I reckon I would have definitely. I've got my tongue came back a bit. Yep. I'm down to 79. 
You've been 79 the whole fucking time. No, no, time. I was 81. I've lost two kilos in a week. I'm very proud of myself. God. So, now we don't have to fucking like monitor uh, our meals and shit. It's oh, like man. so weird having such so much released relief. It's, it is, yeah, so good to not eat so much chicken and fucking rice. rice yeah, oh. no more, no more like, oh, the same meals. Fuck, man. It was very repetitive. Oh, and we got the fucking win. We're champions. We're the best. Yeah. Man. We fucking are the best, eh? You're impressed, aren't you, man? You're like, whoa, these guys, I'm so lucky that I get to work with these absolute legends. Yeah, dude, <laughs> you're sitting, it's like sitting next to Rocky and Balboa, both of them. <laughs> you're sitting next you know, to Rocky and Balboa. Someone sent me a message once and said, man, it must be the best working with two legends. <laughs> See? And I was like, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that was a long time ago. But yeah, I don't know if we mentioned this last week, but we will have a f- footage from like the whole fight camp and like the week before the press be conference now, and shit. Uh, hopefully. Maybe. Ho- it's okay. a lot it's of like footage. It's like a doco. Yeah, it's going yeah. to be massive. So yeah, all that and the full fight will be on the website. But man, it was, yeah, we're f- against all odds. I, I love that we're paying like $3.30 and we fucking won all that friends. I wish we put so much money. Imagine if we put 50K on. Dude, I know. I know. Oh. If we were that confident. But man, it, we were, oh man, yeah, we want so many of our mates money. I want, mm. I remember one of the fighters saying they put 10 grand on their fighter to win. Yeah. Well, at the after party, there, were a, lot lost. Of, yeah. there were a lot of people that came up to us and were like, mate, you, you fucked my multi. So I think oh. a lot of people, <gasps> oh my well, most people, ex- well, uh, you know, look, look at us. You don't expect us. Do you, remember, do, well. do you remember walking through the casino and there was this dude hammered in a, in an alpha bloke shirt. And I just hear this fucking Marty Michael fuck him on multi <laughs> and then he just turns around and he sees you he's like Mario Mario! And I just like he's just so excited to see you it was fucking oh. weird yeah it's been so nice all the support all the messages of um love and congrats so thank you guys for all that that's for that was um it was bloody lovely and it is it was such a high it's like hard to explain and everyone knows who we are now <laughs> yeah yeah finally <laughs> yeah fuck shucks man and pickleball's great so, yeah, well, yeah, let's get, let's fucking next, next, on to the next thing, right? Man, I reckon we take the world by storm and we win the World Cup of Pickleball. Is there a World Cup? There has to be. Yeah. You should start And if one. there's not, we should start oh, it. Oh, man, I just want to be a pickleball champion. It's probably, it's topping golf right Dude, you're now You're going to be me, too man. old Fuck to be off it is. I think it is. It's starting to happen. So we have to buy you. It's a, more active too. I'm so now we're going to buy you a pickleball bat instead of a golf club. Oh, man, I already bought one the other day. I put it on reserve. <laughs> Do you want to know how much it is? Yes. It's $230. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking crazy, dude. I know. That, that should not be that much money. They are ripping you off because they know people are addicted to it. Yeah, man. I think firstly you should challenge Maitland to a to a pickleball contest because he talks a lot the, of pickleball. No, there's no way he – like I promise Maitland if – yeah, yeah, I'm, too, I'm pretty if sure If you haven't played a, tennis before, there's no I'm way. I'm pretty no sure way. he's won a few tournaments. No, like I would, I would, I would promise you there would not be, he would never take a set off me. <laughs> All right, it's done. So first it'll be Maitland versus Michael in pickleball, then Maitland versus Michael in a MMA fight. It's happening. Okay. Maybe, Fuck. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I probably prefer pickleball over golf though, so I'm not too mad about the. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, golf, well. golf just like, I like nine holes of golf. Me yeah, too. Yeah, a bit like, and I'm, there's not I'll much do it because I hang out with You the don't boys, really but... exercise in golf. That's the only thing. Like, yeah. I like the, the sort of mind mental game of golf and like when it just lands on a green and just stops right next to the hole and you tap it in for birdie. Yeah. Uh, but like with pickleball, it's like mini tennis and it's just a constant rally. You're in, you're escaping your thoughts of responsibilities. You're fully just in that rally. Everything else goes out the window, but winning the point. Man, pickleball, get into it. <laughs> Are we all going to go play? <laughs> yeah, well, I'd love you, to see you play? play pickleball. I reckon I could. <laughs> <laughs> a lot better than golf. <laughs> I can't wait to see him. I'm just picturing him dressed as this <laughs> while he's playing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Look, I would like, uh, look, it is the birthday come up, so I reckon we all go and play a game of Toka for the sake of Toka to bring it back to us playing again because that was so much fun. Yeah, look, it's Michael's birthday tomorrow, everyone. So by the time you're listening to this, his birthday will have been two weeks ago. So comment happy birthday, Michael, on this video to, to, to say happy birthday to Michael and shit. How old yeah. are you? 34. <laughs> and I'm 35 in like in two weeks. So by the time this comes out, I'll be 35. Man, what's going on? <laughs> 
fucking mad. That's what he thought was, like years ago when it was his 35th birthday. He had that thought like 10 years ago. And now he's sitting here in his late 40s <laughs> remembering when he had that thought. Dude, at least there's pickleball. You've got pickleball. Right, 30, 37. Oh, fuck, man. 30, 37. Anyway, we got a jam-packed episode. Sorry about last week. I literally, yeah, very low energy, but we're fucking back and we're the best. And fucking here's why, all right? There's this powder. You got you to hear about this, man. There's this powder, right? It's called AG1. It's got 75. You can, Do you realize how many that is? If there were 75 people in this room, it would be full, shoulder to shoulder. Like the 75 is a large number. 75 vital nutrients and minerals that your body absorbs as soon as you have this powder. You have it once a day, okay? You can't get this from a normal diet and you will feel better. Trust me, we've been f***ing myself this week and only thing that makes me feel a little bit better is AG1. So if you like to f*** yourself hard and make really dumb health decisions then get into ag1 link is in our description please it's a subscription you pay it rocks up you mix it with water you drink it you're done oh man i had it just before pickleball yesterday point at me and i won when so when you were saying making (laughs) dumb health decisions and you went like that matt you were being fucking way too fucking sensitive no you had your ag1 though so that's good so did i Help me win pickleball. <laughs> so AG one, seriously, I'm just look. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to try and convince you anymore. Just, just like, just have a look for yourself. It's up to you. Like, you look after yourself or don't. Have a happy, healthy life or die early. You like, will regret it when you are dying, though. Like, yeah, it'll be like, fuck. I wish I just bought that AG one. Got onto that. That would have added probably ten years to your trust life. Trust me. Like, trust me. Having good health is like feels so much better. And oh, not feeling good at all is just the worst. It's depression city, and it's hard because like it becomes like a cycle. So, so look, we'll leave it to you. Like, like, click the link in the description or not. No, you know, but but if I was you, I'd at least make one small positive step and just at least have a look at the website. You, you for, for f- sake, give it you, a go. You have fucking destroyed yourself. Do something good for once. Just have a look at the website. What's Start our there. discount code? Fully actual. And also, look, we're not getting enough signups, so <laughs> we're starting to lose money, or when we're losing more money on the podcast. <laughs> so if you really want to support this podcast. If you buy AG1, that will help the sponsors yeah. stay with it us. It does support so us we can, in, a, in a roundabout way. Somehow, maybe break even this year. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, <laughs> breaking even, maybe. Which brings us to our second most loyal, loved sponsor. Mm. Oh, Manscaped. Mm, I want to lick your tits, Manscaped. If Manscaped was here, I'd let Manscaped f*** me hard, man. Because oh, that's how much you... I trust and love Manscaped. Like that? Yeah, I'd let Manscaped lift my legs and drive it home. Manscaped.com. They've got all your male grooming oh. needs. they got ball shavers that'll shave your balls so smooth in the shower too. You can get it wet. That's never been done before. Yeah, and that's it such doesn't... such a time saver. Doesn't electrocute you. Won't electrocute you. It's waterproof and it very rarely nicks your testicles. Just hold yeah. them tight and taut. Yeah, yeah. They've it's got a little white, them. little white clip in the a shaver. Guard. It's a, a safety guard. safe. And I, I don't know. I've gone pretty all out. Yeah, yeah Matt goes to town, yeah. man. It's so nice me. to like not have to do. I used to do scissors, scissors when I was a little kid. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> and they've also got this little light, so you can kind of see where you're going. So and you, you can know, do it in the dark. And really. you know what? You if you want, oh, oh, sorry, it's a bit too expensive. Oh, it's probably about twenty percent too expensive for me. Okay, fully actual twenty. Boom, twenty percent off. There you go. So it's so free. now it's within it's just your price range. Free. It's within your price range and it's for free. For free for all men and women. If you're a woman, don't go to Manscaped. Just buy everything without even going to the website. It's also for women. It's free. There you go. So look, if you got two, you got two sponsors. You get both of them. You're supporting the podcast. Use our discount code. But if you really want to support us, and I mean really, really, <laughs> did you know that there's a shitload of people that just watch the podcast and aren't signed up to the website? And there's actually a person who's on the podcast <laughs> oh who's God. also not signed up to the website. So that's the same thing. See how like unsupportive some people are. You could be listening to this and be like, man, they always talk about their website, but I just can't be fuck signing up. <laughs> 
Yeah, so we got a 21-day free trial on the website and we're giving away $50,000 on the 31st of May. I can't wait to call someone, give them 50 grand. So it'll be in the running for... It's probably close to going out It now. is, yeah. yeah. It's literally probably in like a week's time we, we're going to have a $50,000 winner. Yeah, so if you sign up, you will automatically be in the running even if it's on the free trial, okay? So entering, like, it's just, it's a no-brainer. Just at least give yourself a chance mm. to win fifty thousand dollars sign up to our website link is in the description let's move on let's move on that's that's enough begging for things sorry yeah look i i got on board with that then i was just oh actually last thing we're at 3.1k five star reviews on spotify if we can please get to 3.2 it's like a little for me i've started looking every morning and it's still the same and i'm like oh please but i want to see you go to 3.2 that would be hot Please. Or 4K. So, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. All of that helps. If and you can't do any of those things, that support alone is very, very valuable. So please like, comment, subscribe, and five-star reviews on Spotify. And can you Matt? Could we? Yeah, could we? <laughs> <laughs> How much would it cost for a punch to the forehead at 80% Who of from? right from... <laughs> A drug from I someone just, who could probably hit as hard as me, but not me, obviously. How much? No, <laughs> he just wouldn't do it, even for a million dollars. I'd probably take a fair hit to the face for like 50k. What if there was a big 50 cent coin in between the grooves of the finger? Though? Yeah, nah, not I'd that. do that for 50k. Not, no, not at eighty percent. Not with a metal shard there. That's not even with a <laughs> ring. That would be fucking. You'd break bone. You got to live a little, brother. <laughs> yeah. Look. Oh. <laughs> you know. Oh. Fifty k. That would be so good to win. Oh. I, feel, I feel like Matt's. Like if I want to cover myself when he's around, <laughs> he's undressed. What have you I've got, got a dress on for him. This is my. Ma- <laughs> this is my my wardrobe today. I was just, I just couldn't be bothered putting it on, so I just kind of draped it across my body like this. It's like a side tie. I really get like the choosing the outfits is just really like it's become monotonous to me. So, uh, and I'm not creative enough to spend the time in there to pick different ones. I just find myself just going, oh yeah, I haven't worn that one for a yeah, while. Yeah, I, I think me and Matt are just wear our normal clothes now. We've yeah, well, that's it. it. Yeah, we're, we've all kind of just like given up. I'm the last one to give up on the costume. At least you still got it just over your shoulder. Uh, yeah. Well, I like to put in a little bit more effort than you boys, but Yeah. Well, look. Yeah, I just went back to wearing normal clothes as did Matt like probably what Start about a year season. ago? Yeah, oh yeah, no, no, 6 season. months ago, yeah. So Yeah, it's been good just wearing our our yeah. natural normal attire. Um Pickleball is great. Which Jurassic Park series are you like the first oh, the trilogy or the sake, second man, trilogy? Now, look, I've got a bone to pick with Jurassic Park. <laughs> Literally. Fuck, this could be big. Like, this could shut them down. <laughs> they, they're going to be inundated if you say something bad here, bro. Holy shit, dude. They're casting for the next film. You might want to be in it. I actually don't have a bone to pick. I just <laughs> wanted to say that. <laughs> Sorry. It is a pretty good series. I don't know how it's you could have a bone. <laughs> it's a good light. No, it's fucking shit. You could have a dinosaur, bro. Dude, I, oh, it is so bad. That water little dolphin monster that comes out at the end I saw in the latest one. <laughs> Oh, dude, I can't <laughs> take that shit. That's a funny sound they make, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not good. Anyway. Did we, talk, did we talk last week about Danny Green talking to us? Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, look, Danny, like since the boxing too, we're going to go film with Danny Green and Tyson Pedro to help promote Pedro's upcoming fight. So that's cool. I, I just thought that I would remind everyone if, if anyone, in case anyone had forgotten. Remember, we have fu- we're with fu- Champions. We're top of the food chain now, boys. We're mm. tough, big, big boys. We're tough, big, strong man, and nothing can get in that waist, baby. Otherwise, we'll smash your face in the f-ing ground. We'll f-ing smash your face in the f-ing ground. Oh yeah. But not cut me off in traffic. Yeah. I'll f-ing smash you probably. Yeah, yeah. We'll get mad. Can't you just sit still? Yeah. Bong break. I think. Yeah, it's time. I'm, I'm going to use my new Nimbin pipe. I'm going to do weed. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Fussy little boy, fussy little world. Oh, These shit. are fussy boys. <laughs> <laughs> world. All right, this week, 
Fussy little boys. Look, uh, to be honest, I don't even know Shut if up. we can show this. No, I'm, I, I'm not even kidding. But it's got to be edible. I'm yeah, no, 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 no I, I promise. No, no. Listen, boys, you have nothing to worry about. I swear to you, I will eat some as well. Okay. Can roll but, mops last week, but I don't even know before. if this will um, be allowed to be shown on. This is quite controversial. This food. Oh. But it's okay. Don't worry. It's nothing. Oh. It's nothing that's gonna ha- like. I will eat some happily as well. Okay. Oh. We're all in this together. All right. But we may have to say that it's something else. What do you it's mean? Not, is it period blood? No, no, no. It's something it's edible. Cum. No, no. It's something very edible. Fuck like, off. No, no. It's something very, very edible. I swear to God. Lamb? You guys are- is it lamb? <laughs> Lamb would be if, fine. My, yeah, Mark, it would be fuzzy as fuck if it was lamb. Dude, that's actually not a bad idea. Lamb. A nice slow-cooked lamb. Do you not like oh. lamb? No, he'd hate Dude, that. Dude, it's a lamb. You don't just eat a lamb. <laughs> the word lamb. Listen to that. I'm going to eat lamb. lamb. It's stupid. It is, fuck, There's the, a the bee baby, in the, lamb. The baby version of it tastes... Like, why, why don't they just have sheep or is sheep mutton? But why don't you ever see that at the shops? Yeah, because sheep will... Yeah, why like, why, why doesn't sheep taste as good as lamb? Yeah, I only learned that. Isn't mutton that, a version of something isn't, overseas? I thought you know, mutton is like, like sheep, isn't it? Did I you know so that too, goat no, is the not. male version of a sheep? Yeah, yeah, I heard that too. Did you know that? Goats are male sheep. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> lamb. What are they <laughs> trying to trick him? What? Yaks. What are yaks though? Yaks are llamas. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know if they are. Wait, wait. Well, I'm trying to think of what a yak looks like. Is that yeah. that thing that spits? I've had a fat yak beer and that was sick. <laughs> Yakety yak. Don't come back. Oh, 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 that's too much, oh, oh. man. Fuck, Fuck you for that, man. <laughs> Why did you do that? I don't know. It was in a movie once. I'm so sorry. I went out on a limb. Can you watch your foot there for a second? Oh, shit, man. So the Fuzzy Boys food that we got coming today, literally we um, had to, um, it was like a concern whether it would make it through the border. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. What border? The Australian border? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I had to clear customs. Dude, it's probably got fucking... No, 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 no! I promise you. Disease. No, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm. Oh, you've already put me off of no, it. No, once you see it, you'll, be, you'll be like, oh, you'll be like, oh, okay. What is it? Hemp? No, no. It's, it's. Look, no, it's not hemp. But yikety like, that's yak, not, don't when come you back. see it, yikety and I tell yak, you what it is, don't that's come not back. A bad analogy. Human. Hmm. Some human flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Oh, I, I ate his liver with some fava beans. <laughs> Forever. Come on, just lose yourself in a moment. Forever. Forget, forget anyone's here. Just lose yourself in the moment. It'll be so liberating if you can do it. Be Lord of the Rings. Forget anyone else is here. It's just you alone. Oh, James is here. All right, here we go. Matt would like to show you, you shall not pass. <laughs> you shall not pass. Oh, you fucking didn't commit at the end properly. But anyway, come on hard. in. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> All right, here All we right, have James. Yeah, James, I've been telling the boys we were worried that this one might he's not toys, make it he's through the border. Out of it. Come on, oh, hurry, up and, oh. hurry up and sit down. <laughs> If it's the sh- if it's what don't I think it, it is, yet, Michael. if it's oh, what right, I think it is, it. it's not on, dude. The way they packaged it is fucking stunning. Like it actually kind of makes me want to try it. But yeah, well, I'm gonna try it, and I I'm 100 gonna try. I it. asked a very important question because I think when I tell you what it is, you might have one. It's question. the same. It's exactly the question I'm gonna is it ask. Bosley, it's gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my no, God. it's not. Dom. Say sorry to Marty. I'm yeah, sorry. Say sorry. I'm sorry. It's just I, I think I figured out what it is though. What What do you think it is? It, you're fucking gonna make me eat a dog. No, oh, no, dude, no, 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 that's a great idea. Yeah, that though. is not a bad idea. No, no. it's <laughs> fucking puffer fish. I bet. So we thought, um, look, it's not. It's it's a co- common in some Asian countries. Common. We are about to try. Dolphin. <laughs> How crazy is that? Oh, You're no. going to have some Look dolphin, boys. A little strip of dolphin. <laughs> Did you cook it? No, it comes like this. So they, they cook it and then they soak it in oil for ages. And guess what that does? What's the one question you'd ask about Ferment. eating dolphin? No, no, no. Sour What's mercury? in dolphin that makes... 
bacteria. It massively reduces the mercury level, where it's lower than most fish. So this is safe dolphin. There you go. Why don't they do it's that healthy. with all fish? This is quite healthy. Well, I don't know, they probably should, <laughs> but they don't. That's what they say anyway. This could be uh, absolutely riddled with mercury. We I'll know. go. I'm, look, I'm happy to try. I'm genuinely, I'll try this first. It actually smells all right. Because like, is that the package it came in? Because they literally, yeah. uh, we can't say Beautiful. what recipe. It, don't, it doesn't need to stay in the fridge. <laughs> and, and we can't That's say. That's not right. We can't say That's what restaurant in Sunnybank sick. serves this, but th- there is a restaurant that, I don't even know if we can leave that in, but uh, there is a restaurant in Sunday, that's so we can eat it. Yeah. They literally. It must it. be legal here if they've got a restaurant here. No, no, it's not. I, I really don't think so. It's like impossible to I had, find I had in to Australia. Like, I had to like talk to these because he his family owns restaurants, and he's t- he said weird the weird shit that they serve, and it came to me, and I reached out to them, and they they recommended this. Here we go. <laughs> that's what dolphins do. <laughs> do the dolphin noise, Matt. Do the dolphin noise. <laughs> <laughs> now eat it! <laughs> now we eat it flesh! Ah! <laughs> this is sick. This feels sick and wrong. I don't know how we do it. I yeah, suppose I'll, we just pick it up yeah, and have a bloody just, nibble. Yeah, like this, Are you going to start, Marty? I'll start. I think I should. Show show what it looks like, Marty. It's stunning, so it kind eh? of just doesn't really look like... is so cool. This just looks like normal fish, really. Oh, it looks like crocodile skin, mate. Hey, guys. Unfortunately, the audio cuts out here and the only uh, working sound we have is from the phone cameras and not the mics. And I'm not going to point any fingers, but I am going to say it's all Matt Brown's fault. And I'm sorry. Oh, it's How the fuck is that young salty and it's it not that, like skin? And it's not that fishy? No. I'm, I've got. I wonder if it's similar. I've got. Oh, I've got it's, sp- it's so not the it's so not the smell that I thought. I've got spicy flavor, but so my bite. sense of taste is completely gone. Ah, please, 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 please. Oh wow! I'll you try a bit it? before Michael, because <laughs> I feel like Michael's going to be the <laughs> the main event. I might take a while. <laughs> it's quite oily. So oily. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't want to do that again, but it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Shocking how not bad that is. <laughs> so what would Fuck, you, I'm going to have to taste give, it. What would you give Dolphin out of 10, mate? It really was not that bad. Um, <laughs> maybe a fucking four and a half. <laughs> Here comes Michael. Such an intelligent creature. They literally like have they're families s- and shit. They're the smartest yeah, humans. Yeah, dude, I know. They're, 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 they're genius. Yeah, dude, they're I've seen a human have seen the cove? Mathematics. Oh, have you seen that documentary? Yeah, it's unbelievable. They, they pin in- them into a cove with boats so they can't escape and they grab them off the fin and stuff. Their fins off and they're just bleeding, and dying in the yeah. water. They're they're all the water, to right? They were contributing. All the water goes is red. Contributing to it. It's fucking horrifying. Oh. Yeah, it smells like Vegemite. Watch that docker. Yeah, it's very good. It does. Kind of I'm, tastes like Vegemite. I'm gonna be able to echolate. Oh! Imagine if he started being able to make the dolphin sounds exactly as soon as he eats it. Is that what echolate means? No. I don't think he said that right. Means. I think he's. No, I know what he's saying, but I don't think he meant that. Michael, he's very teethy when he's trying something, isn't he? <laughs> he's trying he doesn't like teeth. the texture, so he's some things to it. He's like, yeah, I'm going to eat it. He's 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 going to Oh! And you're disgusting for eating that. Both of you are. Like, honestly. Shut up. You, would, first. you would eat dolphin? Really? No, really? I wouldn't. I said, I said oh, I'd swallow it. Oh, dude, it's not bad. I can't swallow it. You have to swallow the dolphin. It's not that bad. I just... Man. The thought of eating a it dolphin... shows what they would do if we convinced them, eh? It's unbelievable, you two. It's you not two a make... dolphin. This oh, is okay. just normal fish, okay? Well, this I'm is normal fish, we everyone. We can convince you guys to eat dolphins. That is terrible. You do you realise that the way dolphins are treated? You're both <laughs> disgusting morals that you <laughs> agree to eat dolphins. <laughs> Fuck like, off. Fuck you ate them first. Ashamed, ashamed of you guys. But we know. It's fish. Well, yeah, I only ate fish. it because I, I got the balls. Yes, yeah, yeah, you you're, you're following. You're following your sheep, Matt. You make your own calls. No, it's disgusting. I was motivated. No one should be eating dolphins. Motivated by the way they are farmed is hideous. That is not dolphin, everyone. But Matt and Michael would s- happily sit here and eat dolphin, even though they're slaughtered and they're beautiful, the sentient creatures. These two would sit here and happily kill 
people and eat those animals. Hey, Yuck! Sure. And I did not want to eat them. But I Tell them what you think of them in the comments. <laughs> I, I literally, I literally How said. How do you think it tastes like that? What was that around it? Oil. That's just a, that's like a canned fish. Yeah, just I had a canned. feeling though, I was looking at that packaging, I was like, I swear oh, that's a knife. Knife. Looks not like <laughs> <Yeah, it's laughs> <yeah. laughs> Holy shit, that was great presentation. I don't talk to my ex students' <laughs> parents. I don't go to Sunnybank. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of fucking Sunnybank. You guys ate dolphin, you thought. <laughs> what do you think of the Thank fish you. though? I actually really liked yeah. that. Uh, I don't it's know. Really it's that. Yeah, I would happily. It's like like fish jerky. Yeah, it's yum. Um, I'm That's willing to try more. Oh, so I think because of the, you're thinking in your head. I like that. Oh, actually, the oysters, the oysters were the best, but that second. Because yeah. in your head, you're like, I'm eating something that I don't want to eat. Like, and so we are eating dolphin. <laughs> you, guys, you guys both. Man, when push comes to shove, you guys will yeah. eat dolphins. Yeah, so yeah, for this look. segment. Yeah, I For this segment, I'm not going out hunting one. I won't have it again. I, I wonder swear. if there's something that they wouldn't eat out if we like really genuinely convinced them and tried it. Oh, dude, imagine if I could get some. Dude, that is that? not even website. That is. You, just, you just released borderline. No, hey, which one? Oh, I guess you're talking about the electrician. Yeah, the electric one. That oh, testing out the Amazon products. Yeah, yeah. Look. Oh, you guys wait till that, that video. Dark. That it's a dark. banger. Yeah, yeah, Man, that's a good thing. Will that be out by now? I don't know. <laughs> that's a banger to us. Oh, dude, that, was... that is definitely a banger. Yeah, I guarantee the, the website members will love Yeah, that I have video. to admit, you know, I don't really laugh much, but that wouldn't really Yeah, Ryan and Cooper have been doing a fucking yeah. amazing job editing yeah, the website. Yeah, yeah. Like, Their editing is just, boom, just boom, 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 yeah, boom. It's just getting better and better. I think it's because they're getting to know you and your style every day and it's even now, better it's, they were yeah. good from the start yeah. so oh yeah they were very good boys they yeah. are the best yeah but yeah. they're good fucking shit, unbelievable now but yeah there's some fucking good shit coming on the website even yeah. the last week we filmed the bong off part two that was fucking hilarious james has a Come up with some great activities to do oh, there, and man, I reckon oh, that's yeah. going to be a very funny. Video. And the, watching Michael after like four bongs take an ice bucket slow pour to the yeah. back is one of the best things I've yeah, ever yeah. seen in my life. That's one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. Oh man, it's I can't, I can't it's a lot of pain. pain. <laughs> Ice water is seriously like he may as well have been on fire. Yeah. He may as well have been on fire. Like, it is like getting burnt. It's like a cold burn. And the trumpet lesson. Oh man, it's so good. Blazed. Oh, very good ideas. Anyway, yeah, we're the fucking best now. Websites are the best shit ever. Shit, man. But that wasn't dolphin guys. But no. you guys. Yeah, well, look, dolphin and fish are the same thing to me because I would never go near. Dolphin. A dolphin's a mammal. I shouldn't have said the mercury thing because I reckon maybe you'd, you would have been hesit more hesitant if you thought there was mercury in it. Oh, oh yeah, if you, if, you full, yeah. if you full on said, oh, yeah, these are full of mercury, I would have been panicked. Like, Still yeah. not on. It just it was like Vegemite fish. That's what that was to me. Yeah, that's good. I really liked it. What fish yeah, was it? a bad thing to I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. It just looked scary in the, in the supermarket, so I got it. I had a different idea for today, but the shop we're... was closed. Oh, oh, yeah, Man, probably. if I can get the thing that I want to get, I'm, I'm not I'm not going near it. That's oh, how bad yes. it is. And I'll try pretty much everything. It, I will is it not, edible? No chance. Yeah, it's a delicacy that people adore. Uh, as soon as you oh. hear delicacy, it's on the shit. It's on the same level as, um, what's it Surf called? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Same level. Surf streaming, that's like... Well, surely you can get it. That's more difficult There's than dolphin. There's one shot that can get it. Surf oh, streaming, dude. 100%. Oh, okay. Surf streaming's like, if you can down that by itself, you're a hero. The bones? <laughs> he meant to eat the bones? <laughs> I don't know. I was swallowing the bones in the library. Oh. Pog would get... By the end of it, Michael, you would you would get uh, full fork falls of it, and you'd hear the crunch of the bones in his mouth, and all the dripping of the bacteria uh, sauce. And the, when you try and swallow a bone, it instantly like lodges. Yeah, you're not meant to. You're well, not like, really yeah, not and meant it, to. It triggers the uh, gag. Yeah, the gag reflex, and, and you, you just throw up. It. You can you throw choke up. Choke on the bone a bit. It's fucked up. It's probably our survival mechanism from our bodies. Eh? Man, if we have some Swedish fans though, and you get easy, it's easier to buy surf streaming, please post it to us. <coughs> yeah, yeah, it's so hard to group. get here. Yeah, fuck me. You have to wait so long. Lucky we bought in bulk that one time, and now they're all gone. You know, like, for like one tiny can of it, guess how much that is to order? How much do you reckon it is? I don't know, $20. Wait, including more. postage? I think, no, I think it's like 60 bucks, yeah. including wow. postage. For that little tin. 
Yeah, it's we should madness. start importing <laughs> Swedish fish. We do. We should get a fucking yard. Get a fucking um, discount code. Get oh, oh, them to oh. sponsor us, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, they might actually. <laughs> we did every episode at the beginning. We have to open a Sørstrømme can oh, oh, and slop it around <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I reckon, I guarantee no one would buy a surf streaming though. No one. And if you did, you're fucked up. But surely, I don't know. Swedish. Surely oh. it'll sell over a year. There's bits of dolphin in my teeth, eh? I wonder why you kept spitting nothing. <laughs> oh, there's dolphin. I can't believe the boys thought they were eating dolphin. There you go. That's so Look, good. we can tick it off the bucket list. You've had dolphin now. Hey. All right. Now, boys, let's let's move on to the great debate. All right, so Matt is pro. So you are for this argument. <laughs> you are for this hey, argument. Okay, guys. <laughs> no, I swear to God, you play it on video. Yeah, you can watch it back. Kind of no, oh, so that was legit. Replay. I said yeah, we'll I want right. I didn't even know what. I forgot what pocket they were in. <laughs> okay, today's topic is. Pigs are sexy, okay? You think <laughs> pigs are sexy, and you must argue and fight through the now to convince us that pigs are sexy. <laughs> Dude, that's such a good topic. Michael is against that argument. And just before we continue, may we quickly remind you that this is a joke debate, okay? None of the things we say we mean in this debate, they're just, the boys just trying to win the debate. They don't actually have these opinions. That's just what they're saying to win the debate, okay? So if you're easily triggered, move oh, on to the next moment, segment, my please. Almost biggest moment of my life. Sorry, Marty, but that was insane. What happened? What did you do? Michael threw a piece of paper up into the air and it like floated perfectly and landed on his foot, which is crazy. But then he did it again and it floated down and landed on Marty's knee. It almost stayed and then there. Slipped yeah, off. If it had oh. stayed there, it would have been an all time like oh, the biggest moment. Man, well, should we replay it? That was heck. Yeah. Replay it, Connor. And watch that. <laughs> no, Connor, replay that yeah. shit. Slow me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you see, you see now. Okay, so Matt, as pro this argument, you have to go first. You have one minute and 30 seconds to convince the audience that pigs are sexy, okay? Three, two, one, go. What? Have you ever been just cruising along and, um, and you hear someone go oink oink at a fat person? Well, I don't think of people, I think of pigs. And I'm telling you, when you think of a pig and it's in its little pen and it can't go anywhere, and it's just rolling around in its mud, all sloppy and dirty. It's so like a dirty and confined. Yeah. It's just, there's this feeling. And what I, about I mean, physically the pig? What, what attributes do you find sexy? It's pink tinge. <laughs> it's pink, the pink tinge of a pig can could not be more what about the curvature of its body? You see its little tail that's like ripple. Talk to me about its face a bit. Well, like, when you put... No, 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 I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but, um, you know, when you grab it on the body and it's like a solid I've chunk. I've never okay, been. well, you know, you just got to... Picture. Yeah, you've got to get down on your knees in the in the mud and, and have a squeeze to really know. But, yeah. Face about the face, you got 20 seconds. Yeah, well, um, yeah, just that big round nose. Round two little round bits inside the round nose. You think that's sexy? It's very hot. They also eat people pretty easily. I watched a movie and said that once. Oh, yeah, can see if you can. Yeah. And that's time. Yeah, there's some pretty fucked up reasons there, Matt, but we'll take it again. We'll take it into consideration. All right, Michael, you have to, you're, remember you're trying to win this debate too. <laughs> so let's try and keep the incoherent ramblings to a minimum and let destroy Matt. Surely you can win this debate today. Well, look, it's here factually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. sorry. Yeah, it is, it's factually wrong to have sex with an animal. So, it's a pig, a human, as a human, you should have sex with another human. So don't have sex with a pig. Also, look, I'll meet you halfway because I know that I've won this argument already. Because if you want to f*** pigs, then that's fucked up. But, I'll meet you halfway, and the piggy from the Muppets? Maybe. Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy. Maybe. But, that's a f***ing puppet, not a real pig. So, I would say pigs, animal, pigs should fuck pigs, animal, like men and women should fuck. And then we, then look, pigs and pigs, humans and humans. Well, he, Matt's just saying that he finds them sexy, not necessarily that he, that he would fuck them. Oh, you fuck, man. Disgusting. No, no, that's okay. Look, you could find it hot. I get that. Like, 
You're pigs disgusting. are pretty cute. Pigs are pretty fucking cute. Is his cute. time up yet? He's got 30 seconds, boy. Pigs, bro. like, they're like, cows are better. And you know that firsthand. Yeah, yeah, baby. But pigs are cute. Like, I wouldn't oh, probably find it sexy, but I'd love to have one as a pillow. So your argument is that pigs are sexy, they just cute. They're pillows. You're a terrible debater, dude. <laughs> so you're basically saying they're not pigs, they're pillows. Yeah, yeah, right? Pigs are beautiful. They're beautiful. But they're not sexy. Not sexy. But they're very beautiful. Right? Time. You can't get mistaken for sex. Stop speaking. All right, go. Uh, go. All right, for starters, that is disgusting that you would think that I would fuck a pig. Who the fuck do you think you are? Well, you're right? getting down Shut down. up! It's my turn. All right? You would think that I'd have sex with a pig. All I'm saying is that pigs are sexy. Things to find quite attractive and a bit of a turn on. But, what, you go that far and have sex? <laughs> that, that's what you're trying to pour out. Sorry. That is a terrible terrible thing to think of. I can't believe you went there. Okay, all I'm saying is that they are attractive to the eye. Okay. Right. Man, I'm done. Just, I'm done. That was, I'm so you... Yeah. Alright, all right. your last, your final rebuttal then. Michael. Your rebuttal... Hey, go. Your rebuttal was the <laughs> same thing as your first argument. No, it wasn't. I think. Now, I'm gonna go and say <laughs> it again. <laughs> Pigs aren't really that sexy. Because they're pigs. What's not sexy about them? Why don't you focus on that? What's not sexy about pigs? <laughs> oh man, that's deflection. Oh, if third. If third becomes punishment. Come on, come on. You're it making it. That's point. Stop the time. 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 Aren't sexy about pigs. Go. Okay. Now, have you ever heard that riddle, three pigs and the wolf? <laughs> there's a there's a wolf in that that tries to chase down a pig and he goes into a straw home. The wolf blows his home. I huff and I puff and I blow you away. In the second one, he blows down the sticks. In the third one, he built a brick house. Didn't happen. And he didn't end up. And finding that pig sexy. Okay, a lot of man. I thought you had that in the bag, Michael, but I think maybe. How the f did I lose that, dude? All you talked about was pigs and sex. I'm saying that pigs are sexy. They're attractive. They're what? good to look at. Not to. Look, look, I think I think Matt has convinced us that that pigs are in fact. That was sexy. actually the second one, so it can't be the first. Now, okay, look, I can actually understand. I can actually understand that people could find pigs sexy because there might be certain people that find the pig sexy. This is why you lost. You debated yeah, look, for Matt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I told him about Miss Piggy too. Like, yeah, like, no, I it doesn't that. matter what you dude, believe Piggy in a debate. You just gotta go for it. Yeah. Well, look, I'd, I'd say the weed cookie made me get into like. Miss Piggy about is it. like the Britney Spears of like the Muppets. Well, well, sure, the whole audience now thinks right. that pigs are, are sexy because Matt won that argument. Also, though, wouldn't the definition of sexy be that you want to have sex with it? <laughs> yeah, holy shit, you, you do want to be sexy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You can find something attractive. No, actually, no. I feel like it's the same. Yeah. You want to fuck the pigs? No, because I've I've well, I've heard you say. So therefore, I was sex. right. The, my first argument was so right. So it's the end of the debate no, now, yeah. though. Oh, I See, I that's, won. that's I'm empathising. I could imagine that a girl would look at my friend and be like, yeah, he's sexy. So I can I can understand from that, that point of view. I feel like it's open-ended when you say like... Look, look, it's the end of the debate, guys. Right. Yeah, this is... I reckon I won. You look, guys... Let, let, us know, you let us know in the comments if you think Matt convinced you that pigs are sexy. And if you didn't, let us know. Let us know everything. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and also like and comment and all that. And we're giving away a few thousand dollars on the website soon. Hey, all right, now it's time to read Matt's fucked up. Book. You seen that pig pillow? Yeah? Can my parents win that? Yeah, yep. Well, man, that would be... Right. I guess they could. We have to keep it on Boys, the Boys, we though. should all just fucking sign up our families. Yeah, and then ring it so that we can actually win. Oh, man. <laughs> I always, this always happens. This happened once before. And I've made joked about something looking rigged and then it was. But yeah. the name I pulled out of the fucking... The, the right. I feel sorry for Luke. Luke's been a website man yeah, for years. That's true. Yeah, Can't yeah. win. He can't that's win. Yeah. For a long time. Should we get into... Um, Yeasty. Matt's dream diary. Did you write one? What do you mean? 
did I write one? Did you write one? Matt? This is your I think you've been. Uh, did you write I one? I think you have been writing fake dreams about me. <laughs> Dude, uh, I, where would I find the time to do this? Shit? Yeah, uh, like, as if. No, this is you. This is all of you. Holy shit, I can't believe you just said oh, that. such man. a beautiful diary. Yeah. <laughs> all I said is pigs are sexy. I didn't say I want to fuck them. This is his dream. <clears throat> <laughs> like I'm literally cream. I sit in this semi-fluid solid state in a thick glass jar. I lie in wait in a dark corner of a cupboard in the bathroom of my owner's house, waiting for her to use me right before she goes to bed. My sole purpose was to be a creamy, moist cream for her and make her skin feel smooth and silky. I loved being a cream. My whole being was creamy cream. Every time I heard my owner start to shower, excitement flooded my body. I would wait for her to towel off, apply some kind of face serum, and then it was my turn. The cupboard door would slowly slide open, and my owner would patiently unscrew the lid with my glass jar home. She would dip two fi- fingers <coughs> She would dip two fingers deep into me and I would jiggle with pleasure. She would scoop out a large amount of my cream and liberate, liberally spread it on her hands. From there she would start to spread me across her breasts. I would soak into the dry, tired skin becoming one with my owner. Then she would continue to spread me up around her feminine neck and her scent and mine would entangle sensually. I would soak into her skin, relieving the dryness and sensing her relax. My creaminess spread far and wide across her body as she continued to massage me in deeper. I particularly loved soaking into her areolas and inner thighs. (laughs) My cream covered her entire body and I would soak into one with her. Once I'd satisfied her and she'd satisfied me, she would gently screw the lid back onto the glass jar home and place me back into my comfortable little dark corner of the cupboard. (laughs) We shared a beautiful connection. There is no one else who I wanted to moisturize. I felt I was a part of her. Cream. I'm cream. I started to drift off to sleep as the normal night routine drew to a close. I heard my owner leave the bathroom and go to sleep and the house felt quiet. Maybe a few hours had passed. <laughs> and I was woken when I heard the front door of the house open loudly with what, <laughs> with what sounded like a human stumbling around. Oh no, it sounded like my owner's husband was home and it sounded like he was drunk. <laughs> my fears were confirmed when I heard with hiccuping and stumbling up the stairs. Darling, darling, y- you awake? My owner did not respond. Then I heard the door to the bedroom buzz open. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the switch get turned on. <laughs> hey, hey, darling, are you awake? Oh, what are you doing? No, I'm not awake, I was just sleeping. Turn the bloody light off, it's one of him, you bloody idiot. Oh, get on, darling. I feel a little frisky. What do you say? Can you just let me have a quick fuck here? It's too late! I'm not the- Oh, come on! You won't even have to do nothing and I'll look really quick. For fuck's sake! Fine! But then hurry up! You've literally got two, two minutes! And get the loo from the bathroom! Oh, yes, thank you, darling. I'll be quick as... Just hurry up, quark shift! Quark shift? That's strange. Does that mean that my owner's husband is... my father? <laughs> oh, no. Does that mean that my owner is my mother? It'll be over before you know, quiet. My heart sank. My entire life I've been getting rubbed and massaged into my own mother's breasts and body. My father, poor chief, stumbled into the bathroom and turned the light on. I heard him knock something over over and mumble obscenities. He started urgently searching through neighbouring cupboards, knocking and pushing things out of the way. Where the f***'s the f***ing loo, darling? It's in the cupboard for f***'s sake! If you don't hurry up, I'm seriously going to sleep! I felt the urgency of my father increase, and he tore the door of my cupboard open. I was pushed to the side and slid back the other way. My drunken father was desperate. I can't find it, quiet! I'm going to sleep then, quark shift, you're too drunk! I felt my father pause, and then he peeked up my glass jar. I could sense him thinking. Oh, don't worry, I found it! Oh, no! My father started unscrewing the lid of my jar, and while he was hiccuping and swaying around on the spot, the lid fell off and he immediately jammed his entire hand into my cream. He scooped the entire contents of my cream out into his hand, and using his other hand, pulled his...
is down. He tossed my now empty glass jar home into the nearby bin. Before I knew, knew what was going on, my father slapped me onto his dick and smooshed me around. He rotated me over his entire shaft and balls and even rubbed me down under his scrum and up to his ass. He had used far too much of me and I began soaking into my father's swelling face. He excitedly ran out to my mother and got to bed with her. <clears throat> Get this over with, quark shift! My mother rolled and, and over and protected herself, and my father excitedly guided himself, using me as lubricant. The next two minutes were the most traumatic of my life. The smells, sounds, and emotions I felt effectively killed me slowly and painfully and ended my life. As cream, as I soaked into my parents' private areas during a moment of sickening drunken f <laughs> I awoke from my dream in a panic and ejaculated with force from this dream. It was cream! It was cream! It was cream! <laughs> oh no! Uh, wow, what an experience to have! <laughs> Not many people get to do that. Dude, that is a weird. Man, that's like... Yeah, that's I don't like think that's the, you're the only room. person to ever do that. <laughs> Alright, let's have a quick bong break while Matt Jack plays and we'll be right back with Prank Cauldron. Yickety oh. yak, don't come back! <laughs> Guys, and this is where we ask Matt some really sort of telling questions that tell us a little bit more about <sighs> who he is as a person. Because we, well, at the end of the day, we just want to learn more about him, bro. It's, it's time. Have you guys ever seen the Batman when Arnold Schwarzenegger's in it? All right, let's move on. <laughs> Matt, this is a really good question. So, I, I know, like, I can't wait to hear your answer for this. And everyone at home is actually a really fun question. If you could ask anyone for help. Who would it be and why? I already know you, the answer to this, I feel like. It would be James. Yeah, James is probably my go for, <laughs> for 98, maybe 99% of my you don't help. You need help that much then. But like, if I do have an issue, I think, I, I think I've come to you most time. Mm. What about mum or dad? Like, yeah, like, it, it just depends on the issue it is really, I guess, I don't know. Financial? Be, yeah, I'm more financial, but I, would you go dad? <laughs> That is the issue. <laughs> I'm going to James. <laughs> yeah. But then I've got, like, but once again, I've got, now that I've got um, Jenna, that it's, yeah, I don't know, some things will, will for now fall to her. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, problems on her shoulders. Yeah, but um, now this Tonight, of... I reckon, all of them, all of them. <laughs> Why aren't you a pig? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, yeah. I don't usually have too many fucking issues, do I? No. I know, you usually do all right, eh? Yeah, I have gone to Marty before too. Actually, I, and I used to, uh, there was one time where I was solely going to Michael for advice. For drug related um, advice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, a podcast would end and he'd go sit on the couch and I was, he just knew it was, it was coming, it was time for me to have a rant. <laughs> but I was like, it was many years ago. All right, what about this one? What are the most important things you've learned from your family? Um, no, I can definitely answer this. The most important thing I learned from my family. Yeah. Um, oh, my parents definitely taught me how to treat people like well. <laughs> Good manners. Good manners. Would you say please and thank you always? Yeah, would please, thank you. you use would the you say knife and fork in the right? Yeah, hand? if I went into somebody's house, I was like, hello, how are you? Would you say the other, st the, your co workers at Hostel would say the same thing? <laughs> that I treat people well. I don't know, man. Do you have elbows on the table when you eat? Because that's you're not meant to, you know. I hate that rule. Yeah, that's a weird. Yeah, way. I still do. Some that. make sense. That one doesn't. Yeah. Sure. I know. With your mouth open. That's like ta you're talking about table manners. No, like they. I'm saying like they like. <laughs> They instilled a good values in me. They I taught think. you to be a good person. That's why you yeah. sat there before eating dolphin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but they would also teach me that uh, that it might be wrong to do that, but also not to judge the person for doing it. Dolphin. <laughs> you can forgive them. What do you think are your best qualities? My best qualities. My best qualities. Um, I don't know. I don't know. No, you must answer this one. 
That's bold. Physically and mentally. Yeah. Physically. And sexually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Come on, man. I don't know. That's something. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Why don't we all do something about that? Yeah, you guys can tell me. You like your arms and your teeth. Smile and arms. You always get compliments on your smile. Yeah, you love it. Love Show them. See? Lovely bloody teeth. Mm, thank you. You yeah, have three think. eyebrows. <clears throat> Beautiful blue eyes, too. Beautiful blue eyes. Mm, very Aryan. Apart from the red. Yeah, yeah sorry. Calf <laughs> muscles for days, too. Yeah, I do work hard on my calf muscles. No, you don't. You've had them since yeah, ever. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your biceps. You're born with it's massive like your biceps. Calf muscles. <laughs> James was born with massive biceps, and I was born with massive calves. <laughs> you have a wonderful, beautiful, sexy laugh. <laughs> yeah, Matt's love is one of a kind. Oh, he's getting shy, they like complimenting him. <laughs> yeah, see, these are things you guys can think of. I can't think of this. I can't say I have great teeth and I have a good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will be like, yeah, right. You're a great dancer. Everyone in the yeah. comments, leave something that you love about Matt Brown. Oh, let's, yeah. Let's, let's see. I don't want to see what let's comes see. out. Everyone yeah. in the comments, let's see what uh, you love about Matt Brown. And there you go. Let's, let's get him down with the brown again this week. And we just learn a little bit more of something. Come out of your shell just a little bit more. And then we smash him back down. And we smash him back down at the end of the season. <laughs> oh. I for, oh fuck! I forgot about. He's this got shit. it on a little, a little plate here, just ready to peg at Michael when the best opportunity comes. <laughs> All right, it's like, like a fucking, cat. It's like a cat. I Sorry. guess it's time we do a prank haul, eh? Oh, yeah. Fuck. Do I get a punishment oh. if I throw this? Do we get the number plate? In the end? I don't know. I think my deflection yeah. somehow it's going to come back and hit. Yeah. Me did you say? Did, I think we did. Do I get a punishment if I throw this one? That's what Michael did say. Oh, okay. But All he right. let you off the I'm, first time. All right. I gave you a second chance. That's all right. I won't throw that. I'll throw this. Michael, do we get the number plate? Ah! Oh, 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 my God. Oh, 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 oh. oh, man, that's hard. Hard to deal with. Juicy. We're going to get electrocuted now. And it's it is time through. for the prank call. <laughs> that was ice water, everybody. Was it? I'm so proud of him, so. Your time for... Your time is here what? for... Prank call, prank call time. time. Yeah, so this is someone stitching their mate up, and they texted him and said, "Boys, I have the best prank call. My mate had his number plate stolen off his car the other day, and he just had to pay heaps for a new one. This guy wouldn't have a clue who Marty and Michael are. He will blow up big, big time. Ring him as Darren because he thinks crackhead stole them, and try and sell him the number plate back, please. His number is." Blah, blah, blah. Call me anytime. All right, so I'm going to call this Darren and say that I'm the one who stole your number plates and I, I want, like, a couple hundred bucks to give them back to you. Or maybe, like, speaking code, like, look, if they were to show up, because I might know someone, yeah, yeah. would you get me some blah, 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 blah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm not speaking. Hey, g'day, mate. Hey, g'day. Um, yeah, good. Yeah, that's good. You got a second chat, or... Hey? Have you got a second to chat, or are you busy right now? Yeah, I've got that out of here. I'm just about to get some dinner and all that underway. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, yeah. Look, mate, bit of a weird one. I'm coming um, with you. Um, I may have found out uh, some information about... Um, did you have um, number plate stolen a couple of weeks back, didn't it? I did, yes. Yeah, look, so um, more, coming to more attention than that, look, I know a couple of boys and that. Um, I might know, um, look, where it is and that. Um, and or I can get it back to you, but um, they said they isn't going to give me what they isn't going to give me the number plate unless like maybe like two fifty cash. They said. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So like I don't know if if that's what you want to do. Like we can meet up. Or, like or you gonna, sleep. I'm not going to buy me plate back, mate. It's what? already done as stolen. Yeah, well, okay, I yeah, thought you might. Well, I thought you might like want it back and that, cause like you know, it's I know they're expensive no, and that. I want it back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you can have it back. You can have it back, mate. It's just two fifty, and you can have it back. Well, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Look, you lost the number plate, and you, well, I'm just trying to help out, mate. Look, I'm just fucking. Yeah, no, of course, thanks, thanks for that. Yeah, yeah. So look, yeah. yeah so what do you reckon, look? Um, I could like put it, lock, um, leave it somewhere, and um, and then you could just leave the cash somewhere, lock on an envelope or, or something. Then when I've counted the cash, lock, I'll um, I'll leave the uh, number plate there and that. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll leave it with me. I've got your number on my phone now anyway, so... Yeah, well, I've got a couple, I've got a couple of numbers, mate, but, yeah, um, just get us a message back. And also, um, yeah, the boys also did mention something else. I should probably say it as well. They were saying, like, um, like if if you don't want uh, to buy this number plate back, they said, um, like, they might accidentally, like, take your new one as well. Like, and they're like, I, I don't know what they mean by that. Mate... I don't know what they mean by that. Where did, where did you get my number from for starters? Well, that's one of the boys handed it to me and he was just well, like... Oh, all right. Well, I know who I was spoken to about my number plate. So someone well, was done that. Yeah, right. Now this is extortion. But what do you... Mate, I don't... Are you trying to extort me to pay you for my... Extort and extort, mate. I ain't fucking doing nothing, like... Yo, what are you coming at me for, mate? I'm just trying to be, be, like, be helpful in that, like... You coming at me, like, I'm, like... I'm shocked right now, bro. I am like, my shoulders are, like, raised right now. My shoulders are, like, raised right up. Yeah, Dan, and said that they're going to take my new number. Look, mate, look, look, I'm, I'm shocked right now. Like, my mouth is, like, so wide. I'm, like, my eyes are open and... I'm, like, what the... F is going on right now. I'm your mate, mate. I'm your fucking mate. Right? I'm helping you. I'm your connection with the boys. I'll fucking sort them out. Who is it? I'll fucking sort them out, right? Oh, don't who worry. Who am I talking to? Okay, look, do you do you really want me to tell you you're who you're talking yeah. to? You're talking to fucking Marty and Michael, mate. You're talking to two fucking internet people, Marty and Michael, and you're on a podcast show right now, and this is a prank call. Right. <laughs> you're, you're, um... <laughs> oh, your mate set you up. Your mate set you up. He sent his number in and and um, and, uh, and told us that your uh, number plate had been stolen a few weeks back. Right. And so this is all a joke, and we're, we're, we don't actually have your number plate, and we're very sorry it got stolen. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> sorry, mate. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that one. It's your mate Sitchia, but um, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, if there really is that. No, it is. Who stitched me up? Yeah, because we have, we have a podcast, we have a mobile phone that people just text in. So this guy just texted in off an un, unknown number and said, "Hey, this is this is the message you wrote." He said, "Boys, oh, right. boys, yeah, over the end of the day, mate, I don't have time for this shit." Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's yeah. Okay, uh, that's all right. I've right, got this number anyway, no. so I'll forward it to the boys and let them know the information that I've just received about my plates and the threats and everything else that have just No, it's, it's a joke. I'll it's a, it. It's a prank. It's so, a... no worries, man. Okay, all right. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to do that. What the fuck? Now we have to call his mate and be like, you do it. call him right now. Do it, hey. <laughs> so Hello? Um, what? Hello? Hey, mate, it's it's Marty and Michael here. How are you going? And Matt as well. Oh, and James. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, you texted us the other day with your mate's number and said that his car, his um, license plate got stolen. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah, well, we just fucking prank called him, and, like, he fully bought it hook, line, and sinker that I was trying to sell his license plate back to him. And then we to we, we ended up telling him it was a prank call, but he doesn't fucking believe us. So he's... Because we didn't know your name. He's like, oh, what, what may fucking text you? And, and we're like, we don't know. We don't know his name. He just texted it in. So can you fucking call him right now and tell him that it's a prank call? Because he's like... Let's, let's merge the call. How do we do that? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll stop lying about fucking Okay, oh, we should merge the calls. Oh, oh man, we should, can we call your mate off this phone? Wait, oh. how do you do that? Would you do a, a phone call merge and, and let him let him know? Do you have an iPhone? Tell you, tell you it was Milko. Oh, I'll say it was Milko. Okay, okay no worries. Tell you, tell you it was Milko. Okay, too easy. I'd love to hear him to communicate. <laughs> <laughs> He was so pissed. He got him good. <laughs> he's so good. He's still pissed right now. He he's said so he's going to call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's oh, got... he is. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's a man. He's got a real, real good man. <laughs> 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 oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, Milka. You're a fucking legend. I guess we'll call your mate back now and let him know. But yeah, thanks, dude. Yeah, tell him to buy me in about 10 minutes. Oh, man, can you call us when you're with him in 10 minutes? Oh, yeah, Milka, can you call us when you're with him? 
Yeah, I will. Okay. Um, can you call us, like, don't tell him that, uh, just have us in your pocket going, like, giggling or something, so we can be like, what the fuck's that? Sorry. Yeah. All right, dude. Thanks, dude. All right. Too easy, mate. Chat to See ya. I cannot wait to hear his reaction. Should we call this guy back? Keep yeah, rolling I mean, well, well, back. what we can do is we can cut, but then if he calls, we'll just film the conversation. We'll just back in. Film the conversation and add it to the end. Okay. That way we're not sitting around waiting for a, a miracle for the last half an hour. Yeah, the day. true. Mm. That was sick. All right, that so was... if, if that happens, guys, we'll put that in now. But if not, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, give us a five-star review. We're giving away $50,000 on the website. All we have to do is be a member to be in the running. We're the best. We're the best. Best. We're the best. best. We're the best. 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 Thanks for watching and listening and shit. Fuck, man. Man, send in more prank calls like that, please. <laughs> Keep sending them to the number. Hey, mate. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. How are you? Who, who, who have I got uh, here? Oh, Milka. Oh, Milka. Fuck. <laughs> So he's still going ahead with the police. <laughs> he, he's saying that we're extorting him. Yeah, for extortion. Like, 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 cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, God, what the? F who the f did you make us prank? This guy's insane. I know. I feel. I feel. Oh, man, I feel <laughs> so wait, so he's fully off you now. He just he just told you to fuck off. God, he's going yeah. to the cops telling him that I'm extorting him. That's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, oh, well, hopefully um, this will be a funny prank call episode though, Milka. So you've done well, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to call the cops now just to give them a heads up that there's a guy that's going to be calling them, telling them that we're extortionists. Yeah. So just to confirm, people text slash call into your podcast to prank call their friends and then you prank call them. That's right, yes. Yeah, so this prank call was in relation to someone stealing his license? Uh, yeah, so they're, they're usually, you know, they're, they're usually quite playful and, and, and mild, but um, this one, uh, he's he texted and said, hey, my friend's had his license plate stolen about two years ago, uh, two weeks ago. You should call him as the person who stole the license plate and try and sell them back to him. So that's what I, I did. I called him, pretended to be the person who stole his license plate and said, hey, you can buy them back. Um, off of me, and he right. got, and he got upset, and then I revealed it was a prank call, and um, he was still uh, very upset. Right. Okay. Bear with me a moment. Sure. Okay. I'll get that information submitted. It'll be assessed by officers, but basically, it all just means it's also recorded in our system. If you do have any other issues, yeah. Look, if that guy escalates, starts getting threats or anything like that, just make sure you keep let, um, letting us know and getting that reported. If it does escalate, yeah. Um, just make sure you stay safe and everyone stay safe. Yeah. Sure. Uh, um. So, uh, w uh, could we potentially be in any trouble here for doing the prank call? Like, Look, I'm not an officer, so I, I'm not entirely sure. If you're quite worried, you might, you might be able to call a station um, to check, but it, it'll be reviewed, so I guess if anything comes back, they'll contact you directly. Okay, too easy. Perfect. Thanks, Marty. No worries. Thank you. Take care. You too. Thank you. Bye. There you go, I might be going to jail for that one, but it's fucking worth it and I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs>